Hi everyone. Today is Friday, January 10th, 2020. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm a hydrologist here with the National Weather Service and this is a briefing for use with snow safety planning. And we've got winter storm on the way and we've got many behind it. So let's let's talk about this. So here's what we're looking at. This is a rendition of the jet stream. That's about 25,000 feet. It's actually the GFS model's rendition, but we've kind of enhanced it. The key part of this is if you look down by the Hawaiian Islands and you see that feature that's rotating clockwise below the red areas, which is the strongest part of the jet, that's the high pressure ridge. And so far this winter, it hasn't dominated the weather. But what it's doing, it's pushing the jet up a little bit out by the Aleutian Islands and bringing it down into Utah on a northwest flow, and that's important. So when you look at the forecast that we've got for this event coming up, and we talk about the Logan Mountains, we're looking at snow totals of about 10 to 16 inches, with snow water coolant at a half inch to 0.8 inches. It's going to start Friday night, and it's going to end Sunday evening with the greatest snow intensity is about Saturday morning and then again we're gonna have a break on Saturday and then it's gonna get uh, more intense snow during the nighttime hours on Saturday so it's kind of two parts you won't really notice the difference with just a little lack of snow during the day and we're gonna get about an inch to two inches per hour it's a cold system so it's gonna snow down to the valleys at the start and then at the ends and the snow density trends are gonna be gradually decreasing it's right around 8% and it's light density snow with this we may get down to 6% at by the end of it but think of it as not a heavy event light density snow the winds in this area though are going to be you know roughly and through the entire system 25 to 35 miles an hour out of the west northwest we have wind gusts that could reach 60 miles an hour and then uh, brief, briefly tonight at the highest peaks with those highest amounts so when you think about wind, it's not a really big wind event, but enough to transport snow coming from the west to the northwest. When we look at the northern mountains and what we're talking about here, Powder Mountain Snow Basin area, uh, we look at snow about 8 to 14 inches with a half an inch to 8 tenths of an inch that's going to start Saturday morning and it's going to end Sunday evening with the greatest snow intensity again Saturday morning and then once again Saturday night two-part storm with one to two inches per hour and again that um, snow density trends are going to be gradually decreasing but at low density event think Ogden Peak will get the highest winds somewhere around 60 70 miles an hour out of the west northwest uh, and that's briefly tonight now if we move over to the central Wasatch on the front side and we talk about Brighton Solitude uh, Alta Snowbird, uh, what we're looking at, it, these amounts are going to be the highest of the storm. These amounts are favored with northwest flow due to the orientation of the Wasatch. We're going to get a foot to a foot and a half, 12 to 18 inches, with 0.6 to 0.9 in water. It's going to start Saturday morning and Sunday evening. And with the greatest snow intensity at that same time, once in the morning, once at the night, could be up to two inches per hour with this section of the Wasatch and again gradually decreasing at eight percent. Think of your winds at the highest peaks in these areas that are favored with west-northwest flow. A consistent wind transport vehicle at 25 to 35 with those uh, gusts up to 60 miles an hour. So this is going to be the most favored area. Now we're going to switch to the backside and what we're looking at here the canyons, Park City, and Deer Valley, and then into Sundance. And what you find in northwest flow, this area is going to be benefited most by the canyons on this northwest flow. As you go farther down the valley, Park City, Deer Valley, and especially Sundance, they're going to get less with this event. So when you think of 14 inches, think the canyons, 8 inches or less at Sundance due to the northwest flow. That's what we're seeing here, 8 to 14 inches with a half an inch to 8 tenths of an inch. It's going to start Saturday morning and Sunday evening with the greatest snow intensity Saturday morning and again at night, 1 to 2 inches and about the same for uh, what we're going to see for snow density trends. Um, so overall, um, the, the highest winds are coming out of the west-northwest, think of the canyons, and up at the ridge line at Jupiter Bowl, uh, 
in those areas for the biggest wind transport. Now we'll switch over to the western Uinta Mountains. And what we're finding, what we think is going to happen is on the north aspect of the Uintas, we'll receive the bigger amounts with snow totals 8 to 14 inches. Think northern aspect um, at, in the Weber Canyon area, 14 inches. But on the south aspect of the UN is probably about eight inches in that range with snow water equivalent half an inch to eight tenths. Storm begins Saturday morning and Saturday evening with that same uh, snow intensity in the morning and the nighttime hours at about an inch and a half to two inches per hour on the northern aspect down to the valley floor with snow density trends uh, decreasing uh, all through this with about 8%, maybe 6% in that area. Again, the wind transport is something to consider, not a big wind event, but anything that loads with west to northwest flow. So there you have it. Now, something to bring up. And, and this is, if you look at the numbers on this event, usually we go with a foot or more when we do these briefings, Glenn and myself. Glenn did the, the meteorology on this report. But what's going to happen is on Monday, we're going to get another quick shot uh, Monday morning. And then Tuesday, it's going to be a better system during the day. And it's going to linger on through Tuesday night. And then Wednesday, uh, we're going to get a break in clearing. And then Thursday, it looks like another strong storm with southwest winds ahead of yet another one and then Thursday night into Friday another storm. We've already had 10 to 20 inches of snow in the past week. We're going to get more and it's going to be a continuous process. When we looked at this we thought Tuesday would be the one we're going to address in a briefing like this uh, because that has the biggest punch but we're in a system that could go out to the third week of January when you look at the models and we've already been at it for quite some time so the AVI conditions are going to change please go to utahavalanchecenter.org and get the latest update on the avalanche conditions you can always find us at weather.gov slc you can find us on facebook and twitter this is brian mckinney until the next storm we'll go from there but uh we're in a good pattern here we'll we'll talk to you later see ya